Hi, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to work on, I guess you would call it a supplemental video to our hair bow making uh, series. So if you watched lesson or video three on how to make a large basic bow, this video is exactly that, but it's actually a little different. So let me explain. So this is taking two different types of one and a half inch ribbon and combining it to make a unique large basic bow. So instead of having yellow and yellow, we're doing yellow and pink. Or this one is zebra print and orange. So it's a way to change up your bow. You can apply this method to a lot of other bows that you will have learned or already learned in the series, such as your mini bows, your medium bows. So this is just something to change up what you're doing, give your bows a different look. Not sure if you've ever tried this before. If you have, let me know, give me a comment below. But you're gonna need some tools, of course, to make this bow today. You're going to need your choice of two types of one and a half inch ribbon. I have chosen to go with this Paris theme, pink and black, and it matches my shirt, pink and black. And if you watched one of my other videos, you'll see that I actually got this and did a little review on it. It is too big, but who cares? It's comfy. I'm comfortable. Move on. So we're going to do the Paris and then for the bottom or the top, depends. I'm going to pair it with just one and a half inch, one and a half inch black ribbon. So that way it'll look pretty cool. And then of course you're going to need your choice of three eighths inch ribbon. And I'm opening this now because it is brand new and I'm going with this black with the black glitter center. Again, you saw my other videos, you see this is a no shed glitter, even better. So you're not going to make a mess. Uh, again, as the maker, you can combine anything your heart's desire. Doesn't matter if it matches. If you like the color combo, go for it because believe it or not, somebody else out there might like it as well. Then, of course, you're going to need something for measuring. I have my seamstress tape measure, as always. Scissors, both sizes, just in case, you never know. You're going to need a lighter for your... Hello, it would help if you'd see lighter for fray checking or whatever you use to fray check your ends. Old Faithful hot glue gun and glue. And yes, every video, I will say it. It is my real hot glue gun. It looks like absolute crap. I know no judging. I'm a real maker. So I'll go ahead and take my jewelry off so it's not jangling, jangling all around and I'll zoom in and we can get started. All right makers, I have all of our tools set up for us and I have those examples I showed you in the beginning over here just so you have an idea of what we're going to be working for. So you can do this two ways. You can do the traditional and cut eight inches, two pieces, or you can make a mini size and cut six inches for two pieces and make a mini bow combo. So let's go ahead and get started. There is a pin hole right there at the end. So I'm going to cut this just for a fresh edge to get started. Move that out of the way. I'm going to need eight inches. Now, if you watched video number three, then all of this is explained. If you didn't watch video three, go ahead and go back through and watch it or just keep on watching this video and you can learn as I go along. I just will not be explaining things in specific detail as I do in video three, lesson three, which is how to make a large basic bow. So. Oh, I forgot to mention you need a clip, your choice. I'm using my trusty alligator clip. Sorry about that. And to line an alligator clip, that was video one or follow along.
then you can play around with the bow and fluff it and rearrange bows after you've glued it all together just to make sure it looks how you want. Now you've made a two-part bow! Welcome back, makers, and congratulations on making your two-style way, or two-colorway, large basic bow. So, that wasn't hard, right? You know, you're able to follow along, or if you watched the video before on Lesson 3, you already knew what you were doing. But how cute is this? It's a nice way to mix up you know your patterns and your styles and there's lots of different things you can do with this and like I had mentioned in another video I don't I try to stay away from like characters and any type of um, like copyright infringement on these videos so you see a lot of basics and things like that with basic colors but it's nice to mix it up um, and use this little Paris theme if you like this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up i appreciate it let me know in the comments below if you have any questions if you've made this type of bow before um any feedback is greatly appreciated make sure you subscribe so that anytime new videos are uploaded you are the first one to know and make sure you are following wonderland boutique on instagram and facebook um we have a great community of fellow makers, crafters, and other just fun, friendly people. So get to know us and I post lots of giveaways and sales and new products and video alerts. So you definitely don't wanna miss out. And great job with your supplemental learning video today. I hope you'll be making lots of new creations and I look forward to helping you out again soon. Again, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and I hope to see you real soon. Bye-bye. My...